Paraguay? I don't know. I thought that was how you were saying it. I was saying Yanguai. My strap keeps, it, it didn't happen this time, but on multiple times my strap has been out of position. Like it's but you know when it like curls up? Yeah. It's been like curling and someone keeps adjusting the tone knob. <laughs> someone keeps adjusting it. I, I, okay. Either that or the tone knob like naturally migrates away from the tenth position. Oh, it might. It might. But I don't know. And, okay. So, sorry if you're an audience, I'm going to talk to Melissa for a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bought some more picks. And I showed the guy at the guitar store my two favorite picks. These are my favorite picks. And he said, I seem to like... Oh, is that part of his song? Weaker than It's These are my favorite chords. Oh, okay. And so I, I showed him what I what I like, and he said, he said, okay, he basically said, like, if this is what you like, I think you should get the opposite. Which is a valid, like that's valid, okay. you know, like to expand your horizons and, you know. I guess so. Anyways, yeah. So I'm going to be playing with a pick that, like, he gave me three picks that were, like, he said I like the solid hard picks, or I forgot what you call them. I think I you call them hard picks. Anyways, uh, he said I should get, like, the bendy kind. I think... That would be better too, because like you, you seem to be very into the hard, but I, I, I don't really think that they're... Oh, there's just a human torso strewn across the road. Alright. <laughs> so, uh... So, um... Yeah, I got three bendy picks, and then I said, but can I have at least one of the ones that I already like? Yes. <laughs> and, uh, that's what this one is, I think. I think oh, use a bendy pick. Use the bendy pick? Yeah. Well... Or use a medium one. Yeah, this is a good compromise for me, using that one. It's not that bendy, right? Yeah. Mm. But it, I think you seriously might enjoy the bendy picks better, because some of the buzzing you're getting is from, like... Yeah, but, okay, listen... listen. Like, it, like, you know how people are telling you you, you, um, you strum too hard? Yeah. So the best way to counteract that is to strum exactly as hard as you have been strumming with a bendier pick. No, but listen to the... it makes a floppy noise when I pick. Like, listen to this. <laughs> do, do you hear the... That's a good noise. The ticks? Yeah, but it's... that's a good noise. <coughs> okay. <laughs> because that's very noticeable to me. It might not be noticeable to like, theoretically, if I was on stage and there's an audience, they wouldn't notice. But you get some the That's right, motherfucker. That's what you get. Only as much as it overlaps with medicine, which I only know a little bit about 
But if my hand, someone told me I don't have to worry about getting arthritis or anything. I don't think you. Um, but if my hand is like sore from bending it into the proper position, pos positions that I need to play for the chords in the guitar, like if it's sore, mm -hmm. does that like demand that I take a break? I really don't know. Okay. I would say no. Considering I did ballet for all those years, and well, I did ballet for all those years and now I've kind of shitty hips. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Basically a raider, they will not accept me as part of theirs. Like if you just not been a dick to me, I would have not killed you, kiddo. Are there any uh, NPC raiders in the game? Um, not that I know of. Like in New Vegas, who are those like criminal guys, the powder gangers? Yeah. They're kind of like raiders, right? A little bit, yeah. They use more explosives, but... bendy pick for a little bit. Uh, admittedly a very short while. <laughs> but I, I, I like this pick. Why is it all the same guy? delusions and stuff. I see they're all the same guy. <laughs> it's creepy! <laughs> yes? So, um, I, I, I've been having like, it's kind of like a Mulder and Scully thing, like where Mulder's like, look, this is actually something that is concretely paranoia, or paranormal. Yeah. And uh, Scully's like, ah, there's got to be a science. That was totally a Freudian slip, by the way. <laughs> yeah, a anyways. Um, so I have this thing where it's like, I I have a feeling that after I use the pick long enough, it runs out of energy. Okay. And like, I could argue like through science that like through wear and tear or whatever, it's, 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 act it's functioning differently through use. Like, you could argue scientifically that, right? Yeah. But, like, I all it's, it's like, it's so, <laughs> it's enjoyable to, like, think of it as, like, I don't know, like, some kind of, like, spiritual, that each pick is imbued with, only, like, it, it has a hundred magic points, and every time you cast a spell... Is too much magic? <laughs> yeah. But I just thought I should tell you that in case you think I'm crazy. Oh, I do think you're crazy. <laughs> Is that loud? Yes. <laughs> no, but I, I think my point is like, 
I don't know, at least among some musicians, that kind of like intentionally irrational um, belief system around their music is something that they commonly share. Yeah, sure. And, uh... Mm -hmm. be beneficial to like frame your thoughts in that way. But beneficial to your music? Well, like the idea of like art and like you, you know the idea of like, oh, I, I don't believe this is true anymore, but you, re you, you, there's the concept that like if you're on like acid or whatever you draw better. Like, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. Or like, I, I if, don't you, know if, if you smoke weed, you're a better musician or something like that. You know I don't that, know if I've ever believed that yeah. ever. But you know the concept. Yes. Um, so my idea, my idea is like, if you have the, like, the, the concept of like, um, thoughts about how you approach your music that are based on intuition and less on like hard science yeah. that um i don't know it's somehow beneficial uh, maybe they killed all the ragers hey ah, so. <laughs> ah, so. i hope my patch cord doesn't break is it the left one or the right one the left one i'm sorry it's okay that I thought I couldn't play before. Yeah. That's really cool. I still haven't mastered this one yet, though. I need to make my pinky stronger. Yeah. I wonder if there are pinky exercises. Yes, you go. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I, I actually, uh, I made that up. Yeah, I know, but it probably works. <laughs> it might. Maybe I should do uh... that. Alright, 
I'm gonna save and see if I can enslave this guy. I like to make some slave. But they are bad people. I thought you were the bad person. I am too. Right, if they're bad people, if the slaves are bad people, then why do you gain karma from freeing them? No, 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 the slaves are not bad people. Oh. I'm trying to make bad people into slaves. The slaves are not bad people, but you're trying to make bad people into slaves. Yes. So not all slaves are bad people, but some slaves are bad people, and the people you are trying to make slaves are bad people, and they will become slaves, and add to the pool of slaves and the percentage of slaves who are bad people. Yes, but I am a different person in the two universes. called Fallout. Slaves are a thing in it. Yeah, but the PlayStation was made by slave labor. Oh, it was not. <laughs> yes, it was. Not slave labor. Horrifically underpaid labor, <laughs> yes. So you're using something made by slave labor to create slaves, artificially. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like talking about it. Do you realize I usually play a character who, ne who f fucking freed slaves? I know, I know. I, I, I was... Don't worry. I know, I know. I understand. I was making a joke. things portrayed in the show. Not show, you know what I mean? Thank yeah. you. I know you don't go around with a machine gun killing people. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and even my good character does that. <laughs> I'm sorry I guilt to you out. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like guilt. Oh, because sometimes you do it to your girlfriend and she gets very sad. Yeah, sometimes I do it to my girlfriend and she gets very sad, and sometimes I do it to myself and I get very sad. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> and I think it, I think the the world would be a better place if people were not sad. I mean, I think some people think not enough about stuff like this, and some people think too much, and I think we are in the latter category. I don't think I think too much because if I thought too much then the people who think too much are the people who take action and we... I don't believe that's true. Bitch, you tried to kill me. You are not getting out of here. <laughs> and now I understand how war crimes take place. Oh, there is something... Okay, someone told me these two chords went well together. 
and I don't know how quickly I can make the transition. to go from this to that. Well, usually they sound like very similar notes. They're, I don't know. Do you, no, do you know what that's from? The, the, the first note of that is the first of, uh, of, um, what a beautiful face I have found in this place. Uh, or playing over the sea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the, that's that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think so. in the sense that it's turbulent. No, but I mean, I do, I do hope they're not just sort of being you know, like, oh, hopefully this will make you feel better until you die. I'm not well, awesome. you, know, you know a fair bit about it. Like, what do you think? I think it's woefully inadequate. So you see how it's like palliative? So. No, palliative care is often quite adequate. Okay. In terms well, of I'm making you comfortable before you die. <laughs> Basically, the idea behind palliative care is like, oh, we have this drug here that makes you feel really good, but like, yeah, it totally. But can I finish though? Sure. Like, like, it totally destroys your kidney in a week, but you're going to be dead in a week, so we're going to give you this drug that makes you feel really, really good. Like, does that happen? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> 